All right, guys, we're going to have some fun. Okay? You're not going to be able to see that. Yeah, I don't have any of my mounts or nothing on me, but you can see what's going on. Wait. Would you believe it that they're safety bits? Um, oh, maybe the garage. There's a shop. Sorry. Sometimes I put the stereo in my head on speakerphone and the world gets to hear whatever, uh, whatever I got going on. The hell? Yeah, I totally forgot why I even came in here for a minute as soon as I came through the door. Sorry, stuff's getting redone, so everything is everywhere. Loud. That's not gonna have it. There was a thing that just had... All right, let me find it real quick. We're gonna see if one of these works. The sun! It's in my eye! Hi, come here often. I also got one good eye, so trying to figure out which one's the right one kind of sucks sometimes. No. 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 Do I even got the right freaking shape? I don't think I've even got the right shape. I don't know what the hell is going on. Never mind. You know what? I was going to take the top off, but it can kiss my ass. Let's, uh, bring it in a little closer. And that is how you quicksand a microwave. Thank you for watching. No, I'm just kidding. I'll be right back. All right, so you saw us sand that. Rubbing alcohol. Wipe it down. Rubbing alcohol. I think, I know for a fact, this has been one of the things that I've not done in the past that has caused my paint jobs on things to suck. It's not wiped it down some kind of cleaner afterwards to make sure all the little dust and dirt particles are gone. Not to mention the fact that this will evaporate and not leave uh, like a wet residue on your 
project, which in turn will, uh, you know, do that. It's gonna get, it's gonna peel and shit. So, uh, um, put this boy right here. We scuffed it. We buffed it. We roughed it. Uh, no, we scuffed it. We cleaned it with rubbing alcohol. I'm gonna hit it with some primer sealer. Try not to mess the front up because I can't find my tape. Oh wait, I got a car pulling to put back first. got my tarps are in the back of my truck with mulch so I'm going to put this tarp down that I haven't opened yet and I'm going to put it down without opening it just set this on the back stick so it doesn't screw my table up there we go I'm going to come this way because the wind's blowing to the left I don't paint with cans very often, I'm not good at it, so we're just having fun and messing with the aesthetic of the shop. You know I love doing that. Be real easy. Make sure we got good coverage. Trying to avoid the front. I will find my my tape and do the front. We're going to let this, uh, I'm telling you, dude, it's going to be neat. We're going to let that dry for like 15 minutes, and then we're going to come back and do a second coat. Then we'll do our color. It's going to be cool, I promise you. All righty, we're all dry, so we're going to hit up our second coat. I gotta paint a little bit. Like I painted apartments for like a decade, but this is spray work. I know, like, keep it back. I've read instructions and stuff. But you get better by practicing. So we're gonna do this. I got a couple other projects. We're gonna, I'm gonna paint and bring you along. On. All right. There we go. We're gonna let that dry for another 15 and then we'll be back to uh, do something real cool all right i'm stoked you guys ready to see something really cool Only the first coat. I don't want it to get all runny or anything, so we're gonna go real easy on it. I'll be out in about ten to oh ho, ho, ho. be back out in about ten minutes to uh, do another coat. I gotta do five. I want it to look nice and thick. Oh, it's so killer. We'll be back. Number two. I hate it when the wind blows my pigments away. I'm actually going to hit the back with just a light coat of it because it's fucking cool. I think it's going to look neat. <laughs> it's getting there. I want it to be really, really prominent, so I'm going to put like five coats on it. Be back in a bit after this one dries. 
Oh shit guys, while we wait. Yep, we're doing the fridge too. I wanna wipe that off. I don't know what it is, but it can't stay on when I when I paint. What are you? I probably sweated on it. Black, but still putting two coats of primer on. Primer sealer, even though it's already black. Just seems like the smart thing to do. I did also, on both pieces, I scuffed them with sandpaper. So I washed them with a cleaner, scuffed them with sandpaper, and then washed them again with isopropyl alcohol. I might have to get some more. Sealer. Before I can do this. Yeah, sorry, anyway, uh, scuffed it, washed it, scuffed it, isopropyl al alcohol washed it because it evaporates and it takes all the dirt and grease and oil and stuff off. Two coats of sealer. Oh, maybe I got some more in the house, but yeah, two coats of sealer and then two coats, or five, six, seven, ten, twelve, twenty-six, eighty-four coats of color. More coats of color you put on the deeper, the darker, the better it's gonna look. So I'm gonna get as many of them as I can. And then, well, like two or three coats of clear coat on top of that, and you're good. We'll be back. You ever seen a $20 microwave with a $150 paint job on it? Look at that, man. I could not imagine being a painter. I dropped one drop of sweat on it, and I don't even know how long it's gonna take me to fix it. But yeah. <laughs> $150 paint job on a $20 microwave. Technically, it's a microwave and a fridge for $120, bucks, but these are mine. I'm just going by what it would cost. It, You know what I'm saying? This has got some good lines. You need good lines to see that killer color shift. This is super shift. Alpha pigment, super shift. I mean, could you imagine this on your bike or on your car? The, the six sweet lines on a car, man. With some of that on it. Boom! People be crashing looking at your shit. Alright, we are back and we have got four coats. And we're going to do this clear now. I'm going to do a couple of coats of clear and then... Be done with the microwave. i got to get some more clear and primer sealer before I do the uh, fridge. Just make them real light and smooth. If there's multiple coats, it ain't gonna be all thick and heavy. It's not prom night. All the same way. If I do go a different direction, it's because there are these weird divots on the microwave and I wanna make sure that I get clear coat all the way around all of them. That thing's gnarly as fuck. Tell me that ain't cool as shit. I think that black is probably where I missed when I painted it, but I'm not a painter, I'm a paint maker. Stoked, there's the first coat of clear. Come back and do a few more. All right, it's about 10 o'clock and we are done. So just to kind of recap what we did was we cleaned it with just a basic uh, non-harsh cleaner, scuffed it um, with some sandpaper, washed it with alcohol. Then we did two coats of a primer sealer, black primer sealer. We did four coats of the pigment, which is alpha pigments from the spraysource.com. All links will be in the description. Four coats of that and then three coats of clear to seal her all up. We'll do the fridge tomorrow. I might go ahead and post this now. I might wait. Let's see if I can get back and it's dark now so you can't really 
get the sun, like the direct sunlight, but. I'm stoked on it. I think it looks killer. It's a $100 paint job on a $20 microwave. But this thing puts in work and it earned it. It, it deserves to look pretty because it makes my money for me. <laughs> That's about it. You guys uh, out in the shop or on the water, stay safe, tight lines. We'll see you on the next video. I keep turning it sideways, I don't mean to. Sorry, guys.